everybody, it's Aaron Tates. Welcome back to the channel. Now I mentioned in the video I posted Wednesday about bringing my Ford on the channel and today we are going to be going to get it. Hence the jumper tables in the back of the truck. So on the ride over to my parents' house, I'm going to give you guys a little insight on the Ford. What all's happened to it, what all's gone wrong with it, uh, kind of everything about it that you might not know before we pick it up. So it is a 1985 Ford F-150 and has a 351 Windsor uh, C6 transmission. Uh, it used to be tan and brown. I actually repainted it. I didn't do it. I had it repainted at a shop. It is a 2016 Hyundai Maraba Blue. Um, it's got a six inch rough country lift on it, uh, 35, 1250, 15 Mastercraft Corsair MXTs. Uh, I have some aluminum 15 by 10 wheels on them. And back when I got the wheels, I paid like 60 bucks for them. And I had them powder coated. It was like 250 bucks to powder coat them gloss black. So I did that because you guys know back when I started this channel, I hated anything chrome, I hated anything polished. I didn't like the look of it. I liked all black, everything. And that's the way I was with that Ford. When I got the Ford, everything was chrome. Bumpers, grill, uh, had chrome wheels on it. Everything was chrome and I didn't like chrome. So I wanted everything black. Now, um, you guys know I have the Chevy. My whole reason for getting the Chevy was to basically have a gas saver. I didn't want to keep driving the Ford because it got really bad gas mileage. Uh, I got like four miles per gallon. I couldn't afford to drive it anywhere. And I wanted to keep building it. So I was like, I'm gonna get the Chevy. Uh, the Chevy will get good gas mileage, it's two wheel drive. Basically I'll be able to save money and I can do more to my Ford. And as you guys can see now, um, I kind of parked the Ford and I built the Chevy. My plans with the Chevy were to keep it stock. Maybe throw a leveling kit on it, some 33s, new headlights, taillights, and leave it alone. That was it, it was supposed to be a gas saver. I didn't want anything more than that. Well, three years later, it's at 11 inches of lift. 35s, 22 by 14s, it's about to get wrapped, new headlights, taillights, HD hood, HD grill, the whole nine yards, everything's been done to it. The Ford has sat ever since I got the Chevy. It's been sitting since October of 2016. And as you guys know now, it is February 1st. Well, I'm recording this, actually, yeah, February 1st. I'm recording this February 1st. This will be posted on February 2nd, but it's 2020. Ford's been sitting for going on four years. Um, I know the carburetor has to be rebuilt. It has the Elderbrock four barrel car. Uh, I don't know any more specs than that on it. it. Got put on there when I was 16. Like I don't, I don't remember anything about it. But it needs carburetor rebuilt. It needs gas tank cleaned. Part of the drop brackets for the uh, like sway bars or pitman arms and everything. I, I don't remember exactly which one it was as it has been over three years, but one of the brackets in the lift came loose and 18 year old Aaron was like, oh, whatever, the truck still drives. It just got a really bad death wobble. And basically I let it ruin it. The Ford's gonna get the lift fixed and everything. And then it's probably gonna be gone for a couple months getting the transmission fixed and the paint fixed. But when I get the Ford back, I would like to do some interior work on it. I would like to do King Ranch bucket seats and a new radio and nice speakers and fix it all up. And I would like you guys to be along for the ride. You guys would get to see a lot more of the Ford when we get there. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a rundown on it before we got there. So I'll see you guys when we're there. Let's give you a little rundown on the truck. As you can see, the Chevy's next to it. As you can see how filthy this truck is natural high is a car club i used to be in send float trucks club i used to be in but i cannot wait to get this all cleaned up full led headlights led light bar the paint actually has blue flake in it to match this let's pop the hood out of rock four bell carb the top intake is taken off right now because this thing is not running very good like i said this has to be clean the battery is on the charger right now I plan on getting everything in here all cleaned up here soon, doing nice detail underneath the hood. And also, detailing this truck, we got some 35, 1250, 15 Mastercraft Corsair MXTs. It's got the six inch rough country lift. We'll go more into detail about that a little bit later. 
Got color match, the black with blue flake mirrors. We've got a roll bar in the back, the old fender, and the driver's side window. Now, a little while ago, uh, this truck got stuck and I had the window down. I got mad. I slammed the door and the window broke. Now, this is a window out of a 90s model Bronco. I don't think it's going to work, but it was just enough to keep weather out of the inside of the truck. Now, as you can see, the blue seat cover, blue steering wheel that is completely trashed. Um, the gauges actually have blue LEDs in them. I'll show you that once we get the battery in. Behind the seat, we've got two kicker subs, as you can see, in this shallow box. There used to be an amp underneath the seat, but I actually have that at home. Got a rebuild kit for the carburetor. It is four-wheel drive, so I know it's not going to be part of the two-wheel drive game, guys, but it is four-wheel drive. My goals for the inside of this is to get all these door panels fixed for all the paints flaking. Maybe do some new headliner, new King Ranch bucket seats, doubled in radio, get that all fit in there. Better sound system. Get, just get this thing all cleaned up. Because I mean, look at these wheels, how filthy they are. Come back here. Now this truck is bedliner. This was done by the company painted my truck come to the back it's all blacked out back here that's got spider taillights on it you guys know i have the spider taillights on my truck that's spiders on this one as well you can tell how long it's been sitting all the white letters on all the wheels it's just running down but i plan on getting this roll bar out of it getting the whole truck cleaned up but right now we gotta hook the trailer up to the chevy and get it loaded loaded up we had a hell of a time trying to get it to run it definitely needs a carburetor clean uh it is officially out of gas right now so even more of a reason to clean the carburetor all that trash that was sitting in the bottom of the tank that ran through it so we ended up putting the chain up to it and pulled it on like you guys saw but it's on there now and we're pulling it home i'm gonna get it home and Get it washed up, uh, probably won't end up washing until the morning, so this video is going to be up a little bit later. I apologize, but honestly, the Chevy is pulling it pretty easily. Uh, definitely run a little bit higher RPM than normal, but for the fact that I've got a 5.3 1500 on 35 22 by 14s and it's pulling a fully loaded truck, doing pretty good. I probably won't see you guys again tonight, It'll probably be in the daytime, but I'll talk to y'all then. Hey everybody, it is next day, as you guys can see. Truck is still loaded up. I'm gonna be trying to get it off today by myself. All I have to do is just coast it down the ramp. So that's all I gotta get done. And make sure you know like it doesn't you know, fall off the ramps or anything. Get it off the trailer. Probably gonna leave it sitting over there. Carburetor needs to be cleaned. Battery needs to be charged. It needs gas in the gas tank, but first the tank needs to be cleaned out. But it really needs a bath. That is what it needs most. Um, probably a couple of them. Probably first to get all the junk off of it. And then another one to actually clean it. And then it needs some tender love and care. Because, I mean, I washed this wheel when I got home yesterday. I mean, I, I washed it with Adam's Polish uh, wheel cleaner. And you guys can see that that needs to, that needs to be uh, clay barred. Probably compounded and polished I definitely let this thing get way out of hand 
So let's, uh, let's get it off the trailer. Everybody, so the truck is off and I'm sure you guys saw I struggled to get it off and I'm gonna show you why If you look at the front tires See how instead of being straight up and down they're angled in at the top on both sides That's because not only the twin i-beam suspension is known for doing that But how I was explaining to you guys yesterday about the lift bracket that came loose rough country sent me two small of bolts to go in it and they came loose and this is what caused my death wobble and the whole reason i parked the truck uh and while i was backing up you can see how much this tire is leaned in and they're that way on both sides completely leaned in when i was trying to back up they kept rubbing the trailer flares and they wouldn't come off it kept getting held up so i had to end up putting it in neutral making sure the tires were lined up and getting in front of it and pushing it off but guys i finally got it off i'm actually gonna put some gas in it i'm gonna turn the truck around put the jumper cables up to it and uh let it run for a little bit and see if i can get this to start up with some new gas in it i know i have to clean the carburetor in it but if i can at least get it running for you guys i would like to pull it from there over here so I can start working on it on the concrete and wash it and everything. But I can't do that because it doesn't run and I'm here by myself. I'm not gonna try and pull it with my truck and no one else being it to steer it or hit the brakes. When I got in it yesterday, it had absolutely no brake fluid in it. I put the brake pedal to the floor and it did nothing. Uh, we filled up the reservoir with brake fluid and I sat there and pumped them enough on the trailer that they actually got a little firm and it actually stopped a couple times on its own because I didn't want it going down too fast. That tells me that there's a leak in the brake line somewhere. So guys, we got a lot in store for this truck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get it to fire up and if it'll fire up, I'll pull it over there and we'll go into more detail with it. All right, everyone, she's been charging for a little while. I'll put some gas in her. Let's see if we can get her to fire up today. but she is running uh definitely definitely need to clean the carburetor need to clean the gas tank i put about two and a half gallons of gas in it just enough to get it to fire up i'm gonna see if i can get it to idle on its own and if it will i'll move my chevy out of the way and we'll pull this into the driveway so we can start washing it and in an upcoming video i'm gonna pull the carburetor off and we're gonna clean the carburetor uh, put the new carb kit in it and see how, well, see how we can get it running. I don't want to interrupt the series with the Chevy too much, but I figured, oh, truck shut off. But I figured uh, I can do some videos of the Chevy, some videos of the Ford, whatever you guys would like to see. Uh, I can do Chevy on Sunday, Ford on Wednesday, or Ford on Sunday, Chevy on Wednesday. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments. You're my audience. You're who I want to please. So guys, let me know down at the bottom, uh, whatever you want to see. The video's not over yet, but I'm just, I want your guys' input on what you'd like to see more of, the Ford, the Chevy. Uh, just let me know. I'm gonna try and get this uh, stayed running and uh, I'll pick you guys up from there. All right, everybody. That took a lot more persuasion than uh, I wanted it to, but it is in the driveway. What I had to end up doing um, was continuously pull my Chevy over and jump it off because I could get it running. And as long as my foot was on the gas, it would stay running. And I would put it in reverse and I'd back up. Uh, like I said, when it's cold, it will back up. So I'd back it up and I'd try and get it where I want it, pull forward. And a second I would take it from reverse to drive, it would shut off. Well, 
as you guys can see right here a little burnout mart <laughs> it uh i dropped it from reverse to drive and uh it, it spun them but we officially we got it where i want it uh what i like about where it's sitting you guys can see where it's sat for years before and actually where it spun tires but um I want it to sit on a different side of the tire because I'm pretty sure there's probably flat spots in these tires that need to be worked out. But uh, it's, it's here. We're gonna get it washed, we're gonna get it cleaned out. I'm gonna be getting rid of this uh, roll bar in the back. Uh, that was something I wanted when I was 18. I wanted to actually paint it black and get a blue light bar or blue KC lights that went across it. And uh, I don't really have the same interest anymore. I originally, I wanted to mount a like 20 inch light bar on the bottom facing back and then like a 30 inch on the top facing forward and i wanted them on a toggle switch that way people behind me with bright lights i could flip it on and blind the people behind me and when i took it to the woods i could flip it on and see in front with the light bar i have on the front and the leds but guys i am really looking forward to washing this thing hopefully by the time i get it completely clean the sun will be over here so you guys can get a, a true look at how dirty this is. Because I know you guys can see this hood and uh, how disgusting that is and this windshield. I'm gonna be taking all of these stickers off the truck. Every sticker that is on it uh, at the real tree, there's a sticker over here that I'm not gonna show you guys because it's political and uh, I don't wanna have anything political on my channel. Uh, I wanted political when I was 18, not anymore. So I'm gonna get all this crap off here. I'm gonna get cleaned up. I uh, put the cover back on the carburetor. Uh, as you guys can see, I painted this blue when I was 18 to like match the truck and everything, as well as this shock steering stabilizer down here. Um, I'm actually gonna strip that. It is aluminum underneath. I'm gonna polish that. Uh, I wanna get some polished uh, valve cover, uh, polished valve covers for down in here. Uh, I wanna clean everything in here up clean crap like this up whatever is rusted like that i want to paint it black this is actually my ac condenser the clutch is out in it uh, i want to get a new ac condenser because this truck did come factory with ac and i would like everything that is on this truck to work so we're gonna we're gonna be doing a whole lot of stuff to this guys um if you guys want to see this truck get completely rebuilt i definitely suggest subscribing to this channel because we're going to be doing a lot but for now uh I'm gonna get it washed up and I'll show you guys what it looks like all cleaned up with with no stickers and no crap all over it. Hey everybody, the Ford is all cleaned up. I spent a lot of time washing this. Honestly, this is probably the best wash it's ever done since it got painted. Uh, not only did I wash every panel twice, every window twice, I went around with uh, some chemical dyes and some Adams polishes, detail spray, and did the whole thing. It needs to be clay barred really bad, but this clear coat is also shot. Um, that is all to the company that painted it. I mean, it's sat, yes, but the paint job is not even four years old yet. Uh, clear coat should not be completely trashed like it is. Uh, I went and did all the door jams and everything, got them all cleaned up. This is also something that bothers me, this rust right here. Uh, that is all because they did not prep the truck right when they painted it. This truck didn't used to have rust there. Uh, it never had rust before it got painted. And now that it got painted, it has rust there. So I've got a lot in store for this truck, guys. Uh, I'm going to be pulling the light bar off. Uh, I don't know if I'll be keeping these headlights or not. I'm undecided on that. My plan for this build is to do all old school on the outside. I want it to look super like old school, small wheels, big tires. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade like LED bulbs and everything. I'm gonna do clear reflectors just as I hate that orange crap. I hate that the turn signals and these marker lights right here. Absolutely hate the orange look. But I wanna do a complete old school look on the outside. I wanna do some welds, some type of polished wheel, something like that. Uh, I do want to straight axle it. Uh, I've been looking into a lot of straight axles, doing some super duty axle swaps. Uh, Sty Performance has a kit to do it. So after we get the Chevy wrapped and finished and all that, uh, we'll jump over and start doing axle swaps on this. 
Next weekend, I'm gonna be building the headlights for the Chevy over here, but I'm also gonna be pulling the carburetor off this and getting it cleaned. So I don't have much more for you guys in this video. I apologize, uh, but my plans, I have already a whole list of plans of what I wanna do to this. I will be getting rid of this bed bar right here. I'm not gonna be keeping that. Uh, gonna be ordering a new driver's side window. Gonna order some tint, I'm gonna tint it myself. I actually wanna tint the whole windshield as well. So we're gonna be practicing some tint on the channel. And uh, gonna be fixing a lot of the crap. It needs an oil change, needs brakes bled, uh, needs carb cleaned, needs engine bay cleaned, uh, needs some interior work, a lot of interior work. Uh, needs transmission rebuilt. I mean, guys, there's a list for this truck that has to be done. It might look great, but in person, it is not as great as it looks and it is not up to my standards. So the struts me getting fixed. If you guys want to stick around and you're new to this channel and you like square bodies, hit the subscribe button, guys. We got a lot of content coming for this thing. And if you like new school, hit the subscribe button. We got a lot of content for this thing coming. So guys, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Sorry, nothing exciting happened. You guys got it to, got to hear it fire up, but that's about it for this video. So I apologize. Catch you on the next one. See ya. Thank you.